Welcome to another video for PokerToast.com. This is Matt. The video here is a video that was recorded back in 2007. I had been buying about five or six books, as many books as I could find at the time, to learn how to play poker. And I decided that I was just going to read more than every other person that was playing, and so I would be able to become a better player. And I reached the point where I felt like I knew a lot about poker, but there was still something that I just wasn't quite understanding, and that was where your probability for winning comes from. Like, how do you calculate a percentage chance to win, and how do you visualize that? I remember watching some uh, videos at the time of professional poker players, and they would be talking about their decisions, and it was like they were mentally picturing something, and I couldn't quite figure out how they were visualizing their decisions in their mind. And one of the players that I watched every video I could get my hands on was a player called Bryce Parody, And he was a heads up limit hold'em uh, specialist. And I must have watched, you know, 20 or 30 of his videos. And he did uh, private coaching sessions. And I decided that it was worth me uh, seeing if I could get a coaching session from him. And at the time, I was a teacher and didn't make uh, very much money. And his lessons were super expensive. He you know, he made uh, millions of dollars playing poker and he charged $400 an hour. And then the site that he went through uh, also charged $20 to arrange it. And so I ended up getting a one hour coaching session. I decided this was probably worth it for $420. And so this is just a clip out of the one hour video. Um, it actually did reveal to me the pieces that I needed to understand to move forward. So in a way, I think it was worth it. Um, I don't think that I would probably do another uh, $420 one hour session. Um, but you'll see in the video here that he used a tool called, uh, uh, I think it was called Card Runner EV. That was the site cardrunners.com. Uh, and the tool was pretty useful. Um, but in the video that I will post tomorrow, probably, I will show you how PokerToast.com can do everything that that, uh, that that EV tool did. Plus, it can do way, way more. And uh, I think, in my personal opinion, it's easier to do it at uh, PokerToast.com. But here's the video. Um, and remember that you're getting a $420 video lesson on poker for free. All right, enjoy. Right now, I'm, I'm still, you know, I'm in the beginning stages of computing the mathematics behind it. So uh, how would I set up a, a math scenario like that, you know, for this situation right here to decide whether or not I should consider calling? Okay, well, if you want to consider calling, uh, the first thing you want to do is think about uh, what you're going to be doing when you're calling with this hand. Are you going to be calling just trying to get to a showdown? Are you going to be bluffing? And the very first thing that you kind of always have to do in any sort of math situation is figure out uh, what the guy's range is like and just sort of break it down. So if you go to stocks combo now and just sort of maybe break it down for all the hands that you think that uh, are ahead of you and all the hands that you think are behind, that'll just sort of give you a quick breakdown of what your actual sort of hand strength is. And even something like Poker Store will give you pretty decent feedback on what your hand strength is like at this point. But by sort of getting the uh, breakdown of the ranges using stocks combo, it's going to uh, sort of tell you how you're going to be doing when this guy's firing a lot of barrels, when he's not firing a lot of barrels. Um, because obviously, depending on how many bets you're going to call, is you're going to sort of really affect uh, uh, sort of your real equity, whereas poker stuff doesn't really capture that if your opponent's going to do stuff like check down a lot of hands. Right. Okay, so um, maybe I, you know, I'd assume that uh, he would 3-bet with, uh, and this is something else I'm not real clear on, is you know, how I, you know, how people de determine you know, how much a 3-bet I know it depends on what your opponent will do post flop, but um, top thirty percent is that? Yeah, well, the, the top three bidding range that's that's ultimately an assumption you're going to have to make. Obviously, if you have data on the guy, that helps. And then if you if you played a couple hundred hands with him and you know that he three bets, you know, thirty percent of the time, then you have a pretty good idea of that. Uh, with stuff like this, in terms of how often he's going to do something, that's never something you can sort of quantify mathematically. That's always going to be an assumption on your part. And when you have not that much data, you're not going to make great assumptions, but you'll do the best you can. And okay. then when you have lots of data, you'll be able to make really accurate assumptions. Okay. So we'll, we'll go with 30% and say that's a pretty, fair, uh, pretty okay. fair number for most people. Okay. And so then I'd add this in. Three spade. Nine heart, five heart. Uh, 
Okay. And so now basically I'm looking to see what, um, in order to do an EV calculation, if I was thinking that uh, he might either have a, a worse hand, like, you know, queen nine, king nine, jack right. ten. Um, so l let's maybe take a look and see, uh, first of all, if we're thinking about not putting in like a bluff or anything like that, and we're just calling down, just hold uh, shift and click on the hands that you're beating right now, and uh, it'll spit out uh, what percentage of his range you're actually ahead of. And it's going to be a very small number. Okay. So, yeah. And uh, the, the nines you're actually behind, of course, because he's got a pair. So, uh, and so you're also behind the king highs as well. Oh, that's right. So <laughs> you're basically looking for like worst queen highs and uh, unpaired jack highs and ten highs. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> Okay, so it's like, uh, let's see, behind that, this one, uh, that one, that one, and that one. Nope, queen nines oh, are out. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, and there's uh, queen nine off is out as well. Queen nine off, oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. So if you go straight to the results tab right now. You'll probably guess a number like yeah, ten percent, yeah, seven percent. So we can probably go ahead and say right away that this is not a spot where we want to be calling down with uh, queen high, uh, uh, given his range.